Graveyard Girl has been receiving a lot of flack this week because of her whole Starbucks fiasco and the video that she uploaded and then took down. But today, actually yesterday, she released an apology video and we're gonna talk today, was she just making a bunch of excuses? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. And something I try to do, I try to pull from YouTubers and TV and movies and all sorts of stuff to help you improve your mental health. And this is another video for my playlist about how to apologize. I decided to make this playlist because there's a lot of people who screw up and they don't know how to apologize. And that's why we're talking about it today because this can greatly affect your mental health. If you don't know how to apologize to people, if you're doing it in a way where you're making excuses or passing the blame or saying, but, you know, and all these other things, like it's gonna be hard to maintain relationships, which can then in turn affect your mental health. But before I get started, I just wanna thank all of you beautiful people out there we just hit 10,000 subscribers and that is nuts. When I first made this channel about a year ago, I'm like, nobody wants to hear about mental health and how to improve their mental health and stuff like that and just, I love all of you so, so, so much. And I love interacting with you in the comments and hearing your stories that give other people hope. They give me hope as somebody who has struggled with mental illness. So real quick announcement, tomorrow morning, Saturday, August 18th, I'm going to do a live stream. I need to do more live streams, but I'm gonna do a live stream tomorrow. It's gonna be a and A if you have any mental health questions or you just wanna chat with me or whatever. And I, I got some plans for it and stuff. I do wanna do a 10,000 subscriber live stream just to say thank you and communicate with all of you beautiful people. So do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know like what time you think would be good. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to cater to everybody, but put a time down there just so I can get a feel for where everybody lives, if you're in another country, if you're in the United States or whatever, and I'll try to suit all of your needs as best as possible. But worst case scenarios, you can catch it on the replay. All right, but anyways, I'll quit babbling and let's get to the topic at hand. Graveyard Girl, Starbucks, apology video. All right, most of you who are here on my channel, you know about the whole scenario. But for those of you who don't, real quick recap, Graveyard Girl was getting a lot of free refills. She was going to Starbucks about four times a day, getting free refills. They ended up telling her like after years of her doing this, like, yo, we can't do that anymore. So she had a couple options, either A, go inside to get a refill, or B, pay for the refill, right? And she uploaded this video, it was about 30 minutes long, of her complaining about it. She, uh, you know, in a lot of people's opinion, she came off very entitled. She used her anxiety as a reason to do that. I will link to my other video up in the uh, info cards above so you can check out that video, all right? So a couple things that, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, and just reading your comments and things like that. It's like, <clears throat> One of the things that I just wanna bring up real quick, real quick. So for those of you who don't know, there is a mental illness called agoraphobia, uh, excuse me, agoraphobia, all right? This is this intense fear of going out. So it is much more than social anxiety, all right? And one of the things Graveyard Girl said was, I don't like going inside because of my anxiety. Some people in the comments are saying like, well, it's more than just social anxiety, it's agoraphobia. The one thing I would say is, is this video I'm playing right now is she just, she's an awesome woman, an awesome woman, and and she does a back to school giveaway and this is her out in the store buying a bunch of stuff. So like, that's just something I would kind of just like kind of question and say, well, if she really struggles with agoraphobia, like this kind of stuff wouldn't make sense because she's clearly in Walmart and there's a bunch more people there than there would be in Starbucks. Now I will say this, cause I'm not saying she's not agoraphobic. People with agoraphobia, it, it acts in different ways. For example, like I'm not agoraphobic, I don't wanna say that, but I'll just talk to my social anxiety. I have less social anxiety in a crowd of people. So like I work at a mental health treatment center. I have less social anxiety when I'm doing a group for 50 people than when I'm doing a group for five people, okay? Like I don't know why that is, I have my own theories about it. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention and things like that. Um, and you be the judge, you know, and maybe it's not our place to judge. Hey, I just thought it was an interesting talking point. But anyways, so Graveyard Girl, um, after deleting that video, she privated the video, um, she ended up uploading a, an apology video yesterday. And here's what I wanna say, all right? For those of you who are waiting, 
for the meat of this video. I've done a lot of videos, a lot of videos about how people don't know how to apologize. Graveyard Girl, girl, you killed it. All right, Graveyard Girl's apology was amazing. My one gripe with it was that it was like 30 minutes long, okay? But like, that's just a personal thing. Like, she didn't really babble too much or anything. Usually like, I was texting my girlfriend. I'm like, oh my God, she made an apology, but it's 30 minutes. And I'm, I'm like live texting it to my girlfriend. I'm like, she's off to a good start. But the fact that this thing is so long, I have a feeling she's gonna give a bunch of excuses and rat justifications and stuff like that. Like, the longer the apology video, like if any of you watched the Tanacon one, like the longer it is, the more likely they are to screw it up. But I think Graveyard Girl did a great job. The first thing I will say is she responded quickly, okay? This happened earlier this week and she made an apology video, okay? And the reason, the only reason why it took a few days to even get it up, and she explains it in the video, she wanted to get her ducks in a row, okay? Like the baristas there or like her friends, she mentions that the reason she took the video down wasn't even out of embarrassment, even though she was embarrassed by the way she acted, but she read a comment that said, oh my God, this might get somebody fired. And she just snapped out of it. She's like, oh my God, like this might get somebody fired. So to just educate y'all on the brain real quick, when we are being overrun by our emotions, our logical decision-making brain, the prefrontal cortex goes offline. So when we're angry or even anxious or just like really fueled by emotions, we don't think about how these things might affect other people. This is why those who have anger issues, we do things out of anger and we don't understand how it's gonna affect you know this person or that person or even ourselves so yeah like she was she maybe a good rule of thumb for a lot of people is don't post a video when you're being really emotional you know wait until you're calmed down it's kind of like that saying for any of you in the world where you email people at work like don't send an email while you're angry because you might come off rude entitled or whatever um the, the main thing I wanna talk about though with why I think her apology video was so good was there's a difference when you apologize, okay? This is about you, teaching you how to apologize. There's a difference between excuses and explanations, okay? And I think Graveyard Girl, AKA Bunny, actually Bunny, AKA Graveyard Girl, I think she did a great job giving explanations and not excuses, okay? So she spent the last few days researching this thing and she basically admitted to her own ignorance. Like she was really upset about something, but she didn't fully understand their rules and policies and everything like that. So during this, uh, this emotional time, she, made this video and saying all these things, but she wasn't fully educated on it. So like, she just gives like an explanation, like, listen, I wasn't educated on that, I'm sorry, okay? And like, I think that's great. I, I think people need to learn from that because if you look at it, if you look at just for example, uh, Graveyard Girls video and then like Tana Mojo's like video with her, her quote unquote apology, like you'll see Tana Mojo making a bunch of excuses, passing the buck onto Michael Weiss and stuff like that. Graveyard Girl focuses on herself and how she screwed up the entire time. It's, it's amazing, okay? And I also wanna give her credit too to the fact that she posted this pretty quickly. Right now, <laughs> my girlfriend and uh, yeah, she got me into like beauty drama. So like there's a bunch of stuff going on with Jeffree Star and Aunt Manny MUA and Laura Lee. Why do I know all their names? <laughs> and Gabriel, something and then Nikki Dragon or Nikita Dragon. But anyways, there's an issue because a lot of them are silent. So good on Bunny for like putting this out for her fans and her fans love her and they support her. The comments are amazing. So that's great. Now, one thing I was talking to my girlfriend about while watching this video is just, I noticed a few times, and I don't think this is Bunny's fault. I think she has some self-confidence issues. And I think that's why a lot of people can relate to her. So, but I just wanted to point out, like throughout her video, she says like, little old me, or, you know, I'm not that big, and da 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 like, like that's, a, that's definitely a self-confidence issue. Like she's definitely one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. Like she's rocking like over 8 million subscribers on her main channel, on her other channel, Banana Pepper. She has like over half a million. Like, like I get there's a self-confidence issue, but like you gotta understand that what you say 
does have an impact because you are big. But with self-confidence issues, you think that you don't really have an impact, and I hope that makes sense. But I would use this to her benefit, and hopefully people in her lives, like, remind her, like, hey, you do have a big influence, you do. Because that helps her be more careful with the kind of videos she makes, the kind of tweets she sends out, and this is for, Anybody, anybody. I made a video the other day, which I will link in the info card, about how these YouTubers, like, are they good role models? Are they good role models with what they're doing and how they're acting and how they're behaving and all that kind of stuff? Like, whether they like or not, like, when you get a following, like, I only have 10,000 subscribers, right? But that's 10,000 people listening to me. And if you're taking my advice, especially when I'm talking about your mental health, like, I gotta be very careful about what I talk about. That's one of the reasons why I'm so active down in the comments, because if you, if, if I said something in the wrong way or if you took it the wrong way and it needs a little bit more explanation, I do that because I, I feel like I need to explain myself, you know what I mean? Or maybe like, you know, you, you heard my words in a different way than I intended or whatever. Now, as I continue to grow, it's gonna be a lot harder to do that. So I'm trying to take advantage of it while I have the time to reply to these comments. But anyways, that's all I got. Graveyard Girl, love you girl. Uh, if you ever see this video for some reason, she did an amazing apology. Um, Go check it out if you if you want to. Like, this is an example of how you apologize. I would say shorten it a little bit. Like, don't give somebody a 30 minute apology. But anyways, um, I love that she did that and that was great. So anyways, that's all I got for you today. Let me know down in the comments below how you think she did with her apology. Or let me know this, do you forgive her? Do you forgive her? Because I'm a huge person about forgiveness. Any of you who watched my last video about how I'm a former nice guy, like, I, I truly believe in forgiveness because I'm somebody who has worked very hard to be forgiven and I try to do that to other for other people, you know what I mean? But leave comments down below, all right? That's all I got for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Go ahead and click that little round subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. Huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you're like, gee, Chris, how can I support the channel? Head on over to Patreon, hook it up for just $1. One dollar, that's it, all right? But anyways, I love all of you. Check out some more content on the channel and I'll see you next time.